I'm Matthew Malcolm with California Fresh Fruit Magazine reporting to you from Visalia. Uh, the Citrus Research Board just held their 50th anniversary conference. We had a great lineup of speakers including Victoria Hornbaker. She heads up the Citrus program for CDFA and let me tell you CDFA is on top of eradicating this disease, Huang Long Bing, which is, is really threatening our industry here, which devastated the Florida citrus industry. Um, there have been a lot of findings in Southern California of the disease. Yeah, we're up and, to yeah, nine, 906 that. trees. Um, just last night I was notified of six additional, so we've removed about 900 trees, and uh, we'll be working on removing that additional six this week. Once we get the notification, we get with our field staff, and uh, they do a really good job of reaching out to the homeowner, uh, making that connection, and scheduling the tree removal. So we could anticipate we'll be up to 906 trees removed by the end of the week. Awesome, and what, what other efforts are, are underway to, to support this effort to keep, keep the disease back in time for you know, a solution? Sure. Um, one of the things that we did last year that um, was pretty exciting is we did some strategic planning. Uh, we reached out to a very wide group of growers um, and nurserymen and decided, you know, our, kind of to reaffirm what they want us to do um, as a program. And they did reaffirm that really the, the key target for us is finding and eradicating HLB. So we're continuing to get out there and survey. Um, we survey statewide for HLB. We collect plant samples and psyllid samples and test them at our lab to see if they're carrying the bacteria. Um, and then of course eradicating the trees if and when we find them. We've also done some work with growers to um, determine what's the appropriate path forward um, in a grove. So if a HLB tree is found in a grove, which thankfully so far we have not found any in any grove, what would the grower response be above and beyond what CDFA is gonna do? And we've had some really good um, responses there of people, their willingness to kind of toe the, toe the line and uh, you know take those hard steps and make hard decisions to remove trees and change some of the practices that they're doing to prevent HLB from spreading. So that's really good news. In addition to that, of course, we're continuing to treat for the Asian citrus psyllid. We partner with our growers in Southern California and we do a buffer around the commercial groves, uh, around the psyllid management areas. And then here in the Central Valley, we're responding to an individual ACP detection. We'll go in and do survey and treatment. Great, we'll read more about these efforts in California Fresh Fruit Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.